Hello, wonderful person. This is Anton and Jesus Christ, what's going on? We're in space in a Tesla roaster. That's right. The launch has occurred. It actually happened approximately 18 hours ago. And unfortunately, I wasn't really able to do a live stream of it, mostly because uh, where I am, it was actually four o'clock in the morning and I had to work the day after. But today we're going to talk about the SpaceX incredible, incredible success um, the, uh, with the launch that they just had. And we're also going to talk about the, the brief history of SpaceX, all of the achievements and records they've broken, or most of them at least. And also what is actually going to be happening with this particular mission with uh, the Roadster now headed for deep space or I guess somewhat deep space anyway welcome to what the math <laughs> So a few months ago, you may have seen this beautiful animation that SpaceX has created, uh, basically demonstrating their uh, their goal for this mission. They were going to strap three Falcon 9 rockets together and then launch um, Elon Musk's uh, car, basically, into space and aim for Mars. It was actually supposed to uh, occur, well, pretty much today. Today was the launch day. They weren't sure if it's going to happen today. But uh, the uh, what's really, really interesting is that, that this animation, the animation you see in front of you, is practically identical to how it went. So even if you miss the launch, and if you, even if you don't actually re-watch the video, watching this is enough for you to actually see what's going to happen. There's actually one thing that didn't happen as they planned, but everything else was pretty much uh, very realistic. And what's really interesting is that just watch this part where the both boosters actually return back to Earth and have a touchdown at the same time. I'm going to show you how it actually looked in a few seconds if you haven't seen it. And it really just kind of stops your heart because this is exactly what they've, they've achieved. And the only problem here was that the third booster unfortunately didn't have enough fuel to return. So it actually slammed into the water super, super fast. But everything else uh, was just as planned. And right now, as of basically, I guess it's 9 p.m. plus 9 GMT, uh, I'm guessing it's about 7 a.m. in the morning, the day after in the US. Um, you can actually watch live footage from the uh, Roadster in space, basically kind of slowly spinning around and uh, having different cameras switch once in a while. And this particular uh, event will actually probably be playing for as long as the battery lasts. Unfortunately, they didn't really put, or I think they didn't actually put any solar panels on this. There's probably a battery somewhere in there and it's currently actually blasting music as well. Um, and even though there's no music in space, but it's just a symbolic sort of a thing. And the uh, person that in the seat is, of course, the SpaceX suit that they introduced a few months ago for the mission to Mars. Now, this particular Roadster is actually not going to Mars because the, the last part, the last burn was actually kind of challenging. The trajectory is going to be taking Elon's Roadster to uh, basically the asteroid belt. A little bit closer to Ceres than, than Mars, but it is going to pass by Mars uh, within a few million kilometers. And um, maybe after a few years of spinning around in, in the solar system, it might actually have another close by with either Earth or Mars, because it's actually going to assume uh, an elliptical orbit with Earth on uh, one side, and basically uh, this part of the asteroid belt on the other. You can see that the uh, lowest part of orbit is about 0.98 astronomical units. Uh, Earth is at one astronomical unit and the highest part is at 2.6. Now, before I go on, I actually did want to show you some of the excerpts from the actual launch. And this is the video from SpaceX. You can actually go and watch it yourself. Uh, it's about uh, 34 minutes long. But I wanted to show you the actual launch and also the landing because that's just something you have to witness one at a time, at least possibly 10 or 15 times. I've watched it like 20 times already. Anyway, so this is the countdown and the incredible, incredible launch of essentially the most powerful rocket on Earth right now. Um, and uh, this particular rocket is actually now capable of launching um, up to 64 tons of stuff to space and obviously probably launch um, a craft that can definitely make it to, uh, to the moon and very likely also to Mars. Now, this is not exactly the rocket that will be launching um, people on because uh, unfortunately they actually decided not to pursue the, uh, the human launcher with this particular rocket. This will only be used for satellites or for robotic missions. BFR is going to be the rocket that's going to be launching people. But anyway, we're about to see the separation. 
that is going to happen right about now and this is at uh, the altitude of about 50 kilometers the two boosters will separate and this is actually one of the records they, they were able, they've been able to achieve basically uh, boosters that will essentially lend themselves back to earth and the booster separation occurs right around here very 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 dangerous part of the mission because if one of those boosters even remotely touches the main rocket everything kind of just fails and so this is where uh, as you saw in the video the boosters kind of flip around they uh, burn against the uh, velocity basically in retrograde uh, manner and begin the procedure to land back to uh, basically mainland US uh, somewhere uh, in Cape Canaveral this part right here that's coming up it was absolutely epic you actually got to see uh, how the actual um, fairings opened up and you can see the car inside just kind of being open to space and suddenly you have this roadster in space being launched from earth and by the way they had another record for spacex first vehicle in space first uh roadster in space first tesla in space and also first really really cool spacesuit in space as well but anyway so just seeing this image that you see right now was enough for me to kind of almost start crying because this is such a huge milestone for space exploration for the human race and basically for possibly the beginning of new era of uh, space exploration oh and by the way this video uh, is actually the second most watched uh, live stream ever in the history of youtube they had like almost 3 million people watching at the same time it was very very difficult to log in and i kind of just uh, knew i wasn't going to be able to record it right away so i just waited for them to upload the video but anyway so here is that footage of the uh, boosters approaching the landing area and basically burning and landing and look at this this is just so incredible it's literally just like the animation but the coolest part is that look at how synchronized they are they literally land practically at the same time and that by itself right there is a huge achievement being able to have two autonomous landings at the same time in practically like the middle of the target that's just insane uh, unfortunately, the third booster didn't really land it. They actually ended up crashing, mostly because they ran out of fuel. Um, but, you know, that's the first launch. They have already achieved so much more than uh, we expected. And obviously, right now, you can actually go to that live stream of the Roadster and you get to see uh, different angles of cameras. And you can actually see there's a, a shadow of a camera right there on the bottom. Um, and essentially, just kind of watch it slowly drift away from Earth. And I'm going to actually wait for the shot of Earth uh, that's going to happen in a few minutes. But for now, let's actually go to this site that kind of shows you of how much SpaceX was able to achieve in the past, essentially, I guess, 10 years, like a decade almost. Starting with actually this, this is a picture of the first ever SpaceX rocket launched back in um, September 28th of 2008. And this, of course, was the first uh, ever commercial uh, space launch of a rocket. And this is after four, uh, four attempts. And uh, I believe uh, Elon Musk was actually talking about how SpaceX almost went bankrupt and they decided to launch just one more rocket. And it actually succeeded because all of the previous rockets were failing miserably. And then in 2010, they actually launched another rocket. This was the uh, first version of Falcon 9, where they were able to launch a capsule on top of the actual uh, rocket and then recover the capsule as well, making this the first ever commercial recovery of a craft. And almost exactly two years later, the Dragon craft uh, was able to uh, basically transport stuff to International Space Station. It was actually um, the first ever commercial docking to the ISS and uh, was a huge milestone back then as well. About a year and a half later, in 2013, they were able to also achieve the first commercial geostationary orbit, sending a satellite on a geostationary um, path. And December 21st, 2015 was the first ever autonomous landing of the Falcon 9 rocket. Since then, they actually had quite a few and I'm going to show you how many. But this was an absolutely amazing um, first ever recovery of essentially a rocket. And in about four months, they were able to do the same, but this time on an actual uh, autonomous drone ship that was in the middle of the ocean. And this one, I believe, was called, um, of course, I still love you. And then March uh, of 2017 is when they actually get to reuse the first ever reusable rocket. And this was the first ever uh, basically recycled rocket launch. First in history, like ever. 
followed by the heaviest rocket ever, uh, also commercial launch, also the first uh, car in space, and of course the first synchronous uh, booster landing and a lot of other achievements that are just almost impossible to list at this point. Now, this obviously opens up a whole new door for commercial space exploration and will probably change the history of humanity as well. But basically, SpaceX even has its own kind of a... Okay, that's not their website, but there's a website called SpaceXStats.xyz uh, where you can kind of go through a lot of really cool information about SpaceX, including their next launches in three days only. Uh, then you can also look at the total um, launches that they've had so far, and it's actually 54 as of, what is today today? Uh, February 7th, 2018, so they've actually launched quite a lot, but here's, here's the cool part. This graph right here is almost uh, exponential in the growth. Look how many launches are planned for 2018. They're gonna have 30 launches, and they're pretty much going to become the number one space company in the world, uh, completely overshadowing every major uh, commercial or government entity out there. You also get to see uh, the total number of landings, so it's actually 23 so far, and obviously counting. Um, I think this is actually including the two landings today as well, or I guess yesterday. Um, and you can get, you actually get to see how many landings, what kind of craft and so on, and uh, what they actually uh, were able to launch to space. You also get to see how many rockets were reflown so far. So, so far it's eight uh, reused uh, rockets. And this number will obviously increase exponentially as they uh, figure out this, uh, this technique uh, and basically make it better and better. And as you scroll down, you'll actually find some other really cool statistics, including this one here. How many people were actually launched by SpaceX? And so far it's zero. But we expect this number to go up dramatically in the next few five, six, seven years. Anyway, so there's a lot more to check out uh, on this website. It's actually really, really cool. Do check it out though. Um, I'm posting the link for this in the description below. And basically, let's just finish this video by watching this beautiful Roadster with the beautiful SpaceX suit, just kind of turning slowly around and eventually facing our beautiful planet Earth. Now, in this video, I actually just wanted to really congratulate uh, SpaceX, um, all the entire team of SpaceX, and obviously Elon Musk's inspiration for getting this getting this far like this is insane and this means that in the next five years we'll probably be on mars hopefully i mean this this was his plan all along so for all we know he'll he'll definitely be able to do it and uh for now that's that's all i wanted to mention in this video let me know what you actually uh think about the launch itself were you there watching it were you one of the three million people and if you were one of those people how did you feel you know let us know in the comments below what, what was the this feeling that you were having while watching this and elon musk if you're watching this seriously like i i don't even know how you're doing this but just keep being you this is just absolutely incredible anyway thank you so much for watching and SpaceX team, uh, you guys did an absolutely amazing job. And I'm sorry I'm releasing your videos without asking. Uh, like, don't ban me, please, because I'm just I'm just so excited that I really wanted to show these. And look at that, there's Earth coming up. Incredible. And on this note, let's just finish this here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.